Your guide never stop. All right, hi folks. I'm Jim Hanley, your host of Northeast Outdoors. And as I said in the opening of the show, today we're going to be visiting with my good friends Jerry, Gina, and Ray Davies as they demonstrate some of their European British tarp techniques. Watch this. The way to do it is keep this up high. Break it down and uh, just bring it back nice and gently. The elastic's doing all the work. And uh, here comes Ray with the, with the net. And there you are. Right. You see the elastic coming out, Jim. And alone it's only a couple of pound. If it was 10 pound, it would be screaming out of there. Only a baby one, but uh, there's a common. little common carp. And, uh, there we go. Thank you very much. Where we landed, <coughs> I'll just put that out of the way. We don't want to stand on that. Only a baby lobby. one. We want one. His grandfather. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. going to put it in the net. All I'm using on this rig is uh, a size uh, six, which is very big for us at back home. Connected to a six pound leader and the main line where the sinker is is eight pound a three gram bobber or float back home which is connected to this little green what we call a storm flow and that is connected to this hydro elastic it's a new elastic it's been out Oh, two years at home and inside the elastic is a uh, hollow and there's a solution a silicone solution and when you get a big fish all it do is just keeps coming out and stretching as I'm doing here and that will stretch and stretch for about 30 odd foot and that's all you got to play with Jim then it's a bit of luck whether you is too big or big enough for the pole to handle and this pole is a 13 meter pole for the time all right hi folks i'm jim hanley your host of northeast outdoors and as you saw in the first segment of the show we were with ray jerry and gina davies as they were demonstrating some of their european and british carp techniques or shore fishing techniques for that matter watch here's some more Look. What we're doing is actually hair rigging the corn with a what we call a baiting needle. It could be a crochet needle you could use over here. The hair rig is actually this little bit of line coming off the hook, if you can see. And that on the end of it is a little loop. So the loop over there and there's a little barb on this needle. Just hold it tight and thread them on. And there's just there is a little plastic stop. It could be it could be a piece of grass. It could be anything just to hold the corn on. And pull them up tight, tight, and and that is it. It's easy as that. On on the method. Just a ball of chum. This is this is actually a loaf and a half of bread mashed in water, and uh, all it is is a chicken feed, chicken layers mash. It is mixed together, and it will come up nice and tight like that. At the end, just lay the line over the top like that. Add a little bit more and squeeze it tight again and the fish will come along to this ball of ground bait see your four bits of corn and hopefully pick them up and take off with it you do need quite a powerful rod using this method he lines up with his marker and there it goes and that big booming noise is the ground bait really holds on to it and sinks to the bottom. 
Oh, Ray's got one on. I better get in over to help him. So, just to uh, get this in out of the way. This is our first catfish, uh, which uh, I think is my brother's Ray's first ever catfish. And he's caught it on a small method feeder. He can actually hold his pad. He might get a few, uh, few rasps. That. And, uh, and, uh, and how's that? It's not bad. That's not a bad start. We can put them in our keep net ray, I think. And uh, for our American viewers, this is what we put all our fish in at home. It's called a keep net. We want to slide them in there, Ray. Right. And uh, anchor them in there. And he'll be quite happy in there, Jim, for until we're finished. Final tip of the week is brought to you by Gander Mountain. All the gear we're using is available at your local Gander Mountain location. Not this hair rig for you, for you gentlemen and ladies. Right, all you do is make a little half hitch in the, in the line, a little loop, just like that. A bit off there. This is a big hook, so you can see it more easily. Right, Just put one line through the eye and bring it down the back of your hook. So it's about an inch or an inch, half inch away. Then with the line what you're threaded through the hook, bring it back over the eye and whip it down the back of the hook. Keeping it nice and level and make sure that the line with the hair rig on is running down the shank of the hook as well. And you just whip it, keep wrapping it round roughly to the same point as the hook. And the opposite end, you just thread it exactly back through the eye like that. And that is your hair rig and that will not fall off and you get your uh, corn or this is uh, what we call a boilie at home and you can pop one on there and I'll put two on this one because it's a big hair rig put that one through and another one and this will catch your carp We'll catch you catfish. We'll get catch you panfish as well. A boilie in the over home, which is England, is a high protein carp bait. And using a bit of grass or a boilie stock, what we got there, bring them both down, and they both sit like that. And that is a knotless hair rig, Jim. Don't matter, it's still a nice little cart. Oh well, it's better than nothing, Juno. Nice, nice little common. Just lay him down there. Pop the hook out for you. Oh, stay there. Oh, a little cumbin. And lay the rod down and hold it for Jim. There you go. There you are. Nice little common carp, Gina. Well oh, done. <laughs> hey, Paul. Everybody's got their favorite spot. And no matter where yours is, there's another.